in this tutorial, I'll show you how to install the C version of Mujoko 2.2.1 on Ubuntu. And then I'll show you how to compile the code provided by DeepMind and also give you a template which you can modify to write your own program. I'm doing this on a Ubuntu installed by a virtual box, but it should work in, in a Ubuntu distribution without the virtual box. There are three, three things I'll go through. We'll start with uh, just installing Mujoko, which can be downloaded from this GitHub link. This is the link. Uh, scroll down to 2.2.1 Linux, download that. It should download in the downloads folder, extract that to some place, perhaps documents. In this case, I've just uh, unzipped it or unarchived it, it uh, at uh, the desktop. This is what it looks like. Next, what we'll do is we'll actually nav navigate to the bin folder through terminal and then type simulate. So in the terminal here, we will go to uh, desktop, then Mujoko. Now we need to go to the bin folder, uh, and then if you go to the bin, you see that there are a bunch of uh, files that are actually executable. So we'll run the simulate executable. So dot forward slash simulate, and then you see this graphical user interface which shows this uh, screen. What we need to do is now drag and drop the XML file, which is the model, onto the simulate screen. So we'll for that we'll go to the model folder, we'll pick up a model the humanoid model, and then just hold it and drop it. And then if it works fine, and you see this humanoid showing up on your screen, and there are a bunch of other options here on the left side. Okay, so this is how you just view the model in Mojoko. Okay, now let's go to the next step. Here I'm going to show you how to compile the C programs provided by DeepMind. So deep minus provided C programs here, and we need to run them. Now in order to run them, file or and compile this file called make file, and we do this through the terminal. Okay, so here we have assumed you've already downloaded the software, and we will go to open terminal. Uh, we'll before we get started, we will need to download a software. It's called Live GLFW 3 dev for that you just need to do sudo apt install live glfw3 dev and then go enter that last give you your password give your password and it'll install the software one thing i found when i tried to do this the first time was that uh, it wouldn't install the software because uh, there was a lock error and then it wouldn't just install GLF. So I found a fix on this website. Essentially what's happening is in the background there are updates going on and they're preventing you from installing new software. So what you do is you basically stop the updates, you restart Ubuntu, and then you go back and you do this and installs just fine. Just need to do this once. So I'll skip this. I've already installed GLF. Now we need to do is navigate to the sample folder in Visual Code and then type make. So we are, uh, if you see here, we need to go to this sample folder and then type link. So I'm right now in bin, so I go one level down, and then go to sample, and then type link. So everything uh, works fine, then you shouldn't see any errors. The error will show up as red. Uh, what's going on here is essentially uh, it went into this bin folder and recreated these files. So, So you can see that they were modified just now, 1230. Uh, if you want to test this out, I could just delete the simulate. Okay, so now there's no simulate and then rerun this. And then I see that the simulate re updated is because I just compiled it. Okay, now once you have got simulate, you do the same thing, which is navigate to um, the bin folder and then click simulate. And then yes, of course, you can then go to the humanoids or any other model file and then just drop it. So that works. Okay, so the second step I showed you how to how to run the program provided by DeepMind. Okay, fine. Uh, the, the last part is 
is to uh, compile your own programs. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that uh, all the files, the C files are in sample folder, which you need to run by doing make. Then you need to go to the bin folder and then execute it. Now, this is, uh, I guess, fine if you want to do it once, but if you want to keep doing that repeatedly, it just doesn't make sense to go to one folder, go back, and then go to another folder and run it. So what I've done is I've basically made a template which you can use to make this process faster. You just run one command in the in the terminal and it will do everything for you. That is compile and run the file. So what I've done is I've provided this template. I would say copy this template, go here, make a my project folder. Okay, so this is, folder will house all your files or all your projects and each project will have a new folder okay so let's say that my first program is going to be called template okay and then if you have a second one you will copy paste this again here and then call it whatever you want card or double pin lump single pin lump whatever you want so in this are a few files and what i'll show you is how to uh, compile this and run, it'll actually load this hello.xml file, which is basically a cute being dropped. And then if you want to modify files, you just basically say main us. So we did B1, uh, we, sorry, we did C1, this is a template. We put it in the my project folder, we did C2. Uh, now you need to do something only once, and then you should be good, which is we need to, take the shared libraries provided in the GLFW and, and Mujoko and then put it in a special place so that every time you run this, they can be found. So for that, what you need to do is uh, you need to move, or not, not move, but copy paste two files, uh, these two files in a special place. So for that, what you need to do is you need to do this. You go to sudo minus h now, Less. Okay. So once you do this, this opens the the sort of the, the finder window in a, in a special way. Uh, now I need to navigate to a very specific location. It is called user light. So for that I do control C, then control L, and then type user light. And now what I, I'll do is I will copy these files and then paste them here. Now, it did happen that I just did this earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace them. Okay, so if everything worked fine, then you should have these files in, in uh, dumped in user life. Once you do this, you can close that. Uh, you can kill this by doing control C. You don't need this. Okay, so we did this, this has to be done only once. Okay, now we will see how to run this program. So we are going to run the files in the template folder. So let me go to Mujoko, my project template. So we're going to run this main.c, create a executable and so on. So for that, what you do is go to my project template. And now what you can do is you can just do make because I already have a, a make file. So everything looks like there's no error and you have a main executable. Okay, so I think it was already this. I can convince you I just delete this first and then do again make. And so you can see it's created. Now to run it, you just do dot forward slash main. And then you see that the block has been, um, you see the took off falling down. That is basically running that model file in hello.xml. Now we have to do two things here. One is to make and then to dot forward slash main. So what I did was I created this file called run run uh, Linux, which basically does uh, make and runs the file. That way you do not have to 
uh, redo this two steps, uh, two commands. Now, first time when you're running this, you might have to create this executable for run Linux that you do chmod plus x run Linux. So once that's done, it's ready to be executed. All you do is you start forward slash run Linux. And then it does compiles and runs. Okay, so that is how you run um, your own files in Wizardo. Now, if you want to continue this and do your own work, then what I suggest is take this template, make a new, uh, copy this template, paste it here, call it something else, the car, then modify the hello.xml to be whatever your model file you'd like to be, and modify the main.c, which is a C code, which runs the hello.xml. 